The little things are the big things. It is remembering to say I love you at least once a day. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is standing together facing the world. It is not looking for perfection in each other. It is forming a circle of love that gathers in the whole family. It is doing things for each other, not in the attitude of duties or sacrifice, but in the spirit of joy. <laughs> it is picking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. Kevin, we've had so much memories together in the past eight, nine years. Happiness, passion, excitement, arguments, bittersweet moments. We had really experienced all emotions. But looking back, all I can really remember is how happy you made me feel. And thank you for accepting me for who I am. We started with just love, but soon we realized that it takes lots of respect appreciation, open communications, to make us lifetime partner. I'm not perfect, but thank you for loving me for my perfect imperfections. It is cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding, and a sense of humor. It is not expecting the husband to wear a hollow or the wife to have a wings of an angel. Olivia, you are not only my lover, but my best friend. You are the only person I would give all of myself to. I love you not only because you're beautiful, but most importantly, you are so genuine and you have a heart of an angel. There is nobody I'd rather be here with and nobody I would rather spend my eternity with. husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. It is a common search for the good and the beautiful. It is establishing a relationship in which the independence is equal, dependent is mutual, and the obligation is reciprocal. It is not only marrying the right partner, it is being the right partner.
I want to be your best friend, your soulmate, life partner, your ride and die. Can't wait to spend the rest of our lives together, growing older and wiser together. I promise you, the best is yet to come. I'm all yours.